you assume they must have had a, a quite a good reason to construct the stone circle because it wasn't that easy to build it. There's one story for that locals came up with um, how the stone circle appeared, and this story goes into storytelling and folklore. Um, there used to be giants in Orkney, and they were only night active. And one night, 60 giants gathered here, and they took a smaller one with them who played with the fiddle player. So a story from the folklore about the ring of Brodka. Yeah, again, 27 stones are still upright, and we do assume that they've picked the best looking stones from the quarry or from the shoreline, transported them here possibly on top of seaweed, which is slippery. And we know for, for a fact that sandstone breaks out of the quarry in that kind of shape, big slabs with a pointed end. So they would have chosen the best looking ones. We, do, we know they had stone axes and some flint for making smaller stone tools. We don't think they had the tools to shape these stones. No big enough tools. If you look out on your right, you will see a fantastic stone roof on this building. Yeah. Flag stone roof on the building. A very ancient way of putting a roof on a house. And here at the nest of Brodka on your right side, some of the houses here show a collapsed stone roof. So even 5,000 years ago, people were using thin slab stones, slabs of stones to put a roof on a house. Possibly with a little supportive timber construction underneath, but because of the lack of timber, they would have needed to use stone for the roofs as well. Right, we're going back to the standing stones of Stennis, and that was really a fantastic idea to do Brodka first, because now there's a free car park at the stones of Stennis.